Jess is a man I would trust. Uh, I'm flattered. If you wouldn't mind stepping over here, just come this way, I think this would provide adequate privacy. Nice, comfortable seat, if you'd stay, care to step in. And uh, I'll be with you in a moment. Is there uh, something in this, sir? Oh, I have no fear. It's, it's just for display. Empty as a tomb. Yes. Do you, do you always carry that paraphernalia with you? Sir? Oh, those, those trappings, all the things that you pull out of your pockets. You know, that, that Sunset Boulevard thing, it is intriguing. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, here we are. Yeah. 12 noon, Houston, fun. P-H-S-B, and you know, none of the S-B's that we, that, that we thought of. Now, phone, P-H, don't tell me that that's phone. Photo. 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 Oh, yes, yes, and, and you did show us a photo of, of a house. Th th there must be some connection. I found the house. On Sunset Boulevard? There it was, her biggest life. Yeah. Fascinating. Did you thank your cousin? Oh, I did, sir. I gave him three golf balls, but uh, he never heard of Dorothy Page. Dorothea Page? It was her house. She died there. Dorothea Page? One of my idols? Oh, she was one of the greats, sir. A detective, Big George Tuttle, he's an old friend of mine. You know what he told me? He told me that when she died, there was a million-dollar diamond necklace on her body. I, I, I can remember the very night. It was a Sunday, September 1979. Her body was brought to the Haviland Funeral Home. You were there? Yes. At the home? Yes. No, I, I, I was there. Wow. Well, it, it, it was after midnight. I was working very late. We had four big funerals the following day. I had a lot, a lot of preparation to do. And then the phone rang. Dorothea Page had died. Would could the body be collected? So I sent the ambulance, and I, I just sat there, devastated, reliving my, reliving my memories of her. And then the, the ambulance returned. The body was brought in, and then the phone rang again. And this time it was the police, and they said that inadvertently, a diamond necklace had been left around her neck before she was taken to the ambulance, and had, had I found it? So I said, of course not. Well, you hadn't even pulled back the carpet yet. Exactly. So I, I, I told them to wait and that, that I'd go and check. So I, I... I pulled the cover back and... no necklace. Uh-oh. So I, I went back to the phone and I told the police the bad news and they said, don't leave the premises. I bet they were there in five minutes. Two. And you let them search the mortuary? I insisted on it. They never found the necklace. Not to this day. Wow. What a mystery, huh? Yeah. So what do you think really happened there, sir? Uh, who stole that necklace? In my opinion, to this day, I still believe it was the help. The help at her house. Uh, why do you say that, sir? Negligee. It was stained, it was soiled. No decent human being would let such a lady of class be seen in, 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 in a rag. Eric, you're the man of the year. We we're waiting for you. I'll, I'll, I'll be with you in a, in, in, in a minute, yes. Oh, my, uh, my public awaits. Would you excuse me, Lieutenant? Oh, go right ahead, sir. Do you mind if I sit here for a moment? Something just struck me. I have to think. Make yourself at home. Just one more thing. <laughs> 